Imagine a man laid dying. He's got 60 minutes left in his life. The countdown is on. And he's about to step from here into eternity. What is going to benefit his soul more? A book about prayer or to pray? Now, obviously, you know the answer. It's more beneficial to pray than to study about prayer at that point. Why? Well, to learn about the benefits of prayer profits a soul nothing unless somebody prays, because by means of prayer, we receive those benefits. For example, when we study about prayer, we may learn about God's mercy. But it's only by prayer where we cry out, Lord, have mercy, that God forgives our sin. By studying about prayer, we may learn about His love. But by means of prayer, we place ourselves in the presence of God and we encounter Him and we encounter His love. By studying about prayer, we may learn about eternal life. But by means of prayer, we receive it. Now let's relate this back to our life. Is it important to learn about prayer? Yes. Is it important to learn about the faith? Yes. Because you can't live what you do not know. But have you ever noticed that after you know what you did not know, you still can't live it? <laughs> There's a gap between what we ought to do and what we actually do. In most circumstances, we are educated on God far beyond our obedience to God. At least this gap exists in my life, what I know I should do, but what I actually do. And how big is that gap? I think that gap is infinite. Because Jesus said in John 15, 5, without me, you can do nothing. So here we have this big gap that can't be filled by our own strength. And so what do we need? That gap between what we ought to do and what we actually do can only be filled by grace. And how do we grow in this grace? Here enters prayer. It is by means of prayer that that gap is filled. St. Thomas teaches, after baptism, continual prayer is necessary to man in order that he may enter heaven. Without divine assistance, we cannot resist the might of so many and so powerful enemies, which he says are the world, the flesh, and the devil. Now, this assistance is only granted to prayer. Therefore, without prayer, there is no salvation. Friends, we live in an information age where we can learn about the faith all we want. We have YouTube videos, podcasts, digital books, books in the library. But unless we actually pray, what we learn about the faith profits us nothing. We got to pray. So I want to take you to a very important moment. The last 60 minutes of your life. In that last hour, what are you going to regret and what are you not going to regret? Are you going to be lying there thinking, oh, why didn't I watch more TV? Or why didn't I listen to that one more podcast? Or why didn't I watch one more Ken Yazinski YouTube video? <laughs> Give me the newest release. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not going to be a regret. Nor are you going to be on your deathbed in that last hour thinking, why did I waste all that time in prayer? That, my friends, is not going to be your regret. So the point of today's message is this. Pray and pray much. God bless you guys. Friends, thank you so much for watching and a special thank you to our Patreon team. You allow us to keep all our videos free for the world. We appreciate you so much. We cannot do this ministry without you, so thank you. And just in case our channel gets shut down by YouTube, head over to catholicspeaker.com and join Catholic Minute. That way you will receive all new videos by email, no matter where they are uploaded on the internet. God bless you guys.